So we all love to customize our Android devices, right? I mean, that's literally one of the best things about owning an Android device. But what are the apps that let you truly take your customization game to the next level? Well, that's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Deck and in today's video, I'll be talking about 11 of the best apps that you should immediately download on your Android device to take your customization game and personalization levels to the highest levels possible. So without wasting any time, let's just get into it. All right, so kicking things off, the status bar on Android devices hasn't changed a lot in recent times. Well, you can tune it as per your own liking using Super Status Bar. This app adds various functionality to your status bar. You can add gestures to control the brightness or volume, have tab gestures to launch different apps or toggle the settings, and even change the way the notifications display on your screen. It's simple yet so functional that everyone will absolutely love it. Swiping down from the status bar and then you have the notification tray. And here's an app to customize your notification tray called OneShade. OneShade lets you customize the Android quick settings and notification panel to your preferences. You can personalize your phone with custom alerts, quick settings and so much more. Now, as you would expect, it replaces your phone's notification bar with a modern and completely customizable version. What's more is that OneShade also allows you to add your own edge triggers which are perfect for 100 users. Speaking about edges, how about adding a music visualizer to your smartphone's edges thanks to Movies. Movies basically adds a music visualizer to your Android device around the edges of your screen while you're listening to music from your favorite music apps. You can fiddle around with the visualizer settings to make it look as per your liking or choose it to automatically apply colors from the current album art. Now the app also contains responsive visualizer design packs crafted specifically for screen edges and can also be customized to match your own style. Now while we're on the topic of listening to music, how about customizing your volume controller? Well, that's where volume styles comes in. As the name suggests, it changes your volume slider. You can apply various different themes like iOS, MIUI, Oxygen OS, or even the stock AOSP. Now, depending on whether you are left-handed or right-handed, you can change the position of the volume bar as well. Other than that, there are different animations along with the ability to add custom apps as well. It's a great app that I'm sure a lot of you guys will love. All right, so this next app is an app that I actually install on pretty much every device out there, especially ones that come with custom skins. It's called FNG and it's a godsend app for gesture navigation. FNG or fluid navigation gesture does require access via ADV or root if you have that but once it's done it's so good you can easily set custom gestures for the bottom bar along with gestures along the side edges as well and it's not just activities you can use it to launch apps as well it genuinely makes your daily usage quite snappy without hogging up on resources or even taking up your screen all right now if you have a screen with a huge display you know that 100 usage is not easy well, that's where bottom quick settings comes in to make life so much better. As the name suggests, the app brings a custom quick setting and notification panel at the bottom of your screen. Now you can use it to access quick toggles such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and pretty much everything you want because that's completely customizable. All right, so those were different elements of your Android device. Of course, the most commonly used and the most actively used app on any Android device is the launcher. And if you want to talk about customizability, you want a launcher that supports all the customizations that you want. And that is why my go-to recommendation in that respect is Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher has been around for a very long time and still remains to be the favorite launcher amongst customization enthusiasts. And for good reason too, you get a plethora of features in terms of customizability, such as changing the style of grids, changing the style of folders, using third-party icon packs and whatnot. You can even change the style of the app draw to the style of your choice. And thanks to custom animations, Nova not only looks good, but is also smooth to use. All right, so we've already hooked you with a good launcher. Now it's time for having a good wallpaper. And that's exactly where Wally -E comes in. Wally -E is a high quality selective collection of unique and cool wallpapers exclusively made by artists for your device. Now the app is so good that it's directly integrated into Smart Launcher and Google wallpapers too. I mean, the collection is really good. Wally also has all these categories that makes it easier for just about anyone to find the wallpaper that they like. All right, now let me tell you how I customize my Android device. So I have Nova Launcher as the default launcher. Then I use a dark material wallpaper thanks to Wally. -E. 
But then the next step is to use custom icons and my go-to preference for that is Ycons. Ycons is a very simple icon pack. It's basically the entire icon in white color. And there's a huge collection of apps here. So chances are that whatever apps you have installed on your device, there will be a Ycon alternative for it. That being said, I understand if you want a bit more color and in that case, you should definitely check out our other video talking about some of the best icon packs for Android. Alright, now your home screen is pretty much sorted. You got a good launcher, you got a good wallpaper, you got nice icons. What's next? A good widget. And that's exactly where I would recommend KWGT. Now first things first, while the app in itself is free, you will still have to buy the pro license to be able to use other widget packs. And in complete honesty, I would have to say that it's worth every penny. You can use so many widget packs for free also with this license and then take your device's look to the next level. With that being said, I understand if you're not willing to spend money. Well, in that context, I still have two widgets that you should definitely, definitely install on your Android device. And they are another widget and Quotes widget. Another widget is a simple clock widget that easily summarizes the information you need the most. You get a quick view of the events, weather, and more in an elegant manner. On the other hand, the quotes widget, as the name suggests, shows you nice motivational quotes on your home screen. Now we all need a bit of motivation at times and this is the perfect widget for it. Lastly, well, we all love to type on our Android smartphones. So why just stick to the common Google keyboard or even Swift key for that matter? How about giving Chroma keyboard a try? Now, if you want a keyboard that has plethora of themes for it, look no further than Chroma keyboard. The keyboard features a plethora of colorful themes that also adapt and sync smartly with the content that you're using on your screen. Of course, a fan favorite here is the RGB theme, which offers, as you would expect, RGB lighting similar to that of a desktop keyboard. And the best part here is that it's not static, but actually has movement to it as well. Now, while plenty of themes here are premium, I would argue that the free themes are more than enough to satisfy most of you out there. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down in the description box. And if you feel like there is any other app that you use to customize your Android device that we missed out on, make sure to comment down below and maybe we'll include it in our next video. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.